Hello and welcome to YTech. In this episode, we are going to talk about multi-monitor setups and whether you need more than one monitor for your rig. So first things first, you actually will need to figure out if you will benefit from multiple monitors. So you've got to figure out whether you need those monitors, whether for gaming, work, or even streaming. Typically, you have three kinds of multi-monitor setup. So the first one will be like this. So you have a main monitor and then you have two side monitors for miscellaneous things, whether you want to look at your stream or whether you want to look at other different things, you know, documents and stuff like that. The other setup will be three of the same kind of monitor, so same size, same resolution and all that, and it is put side by side. And then there's the third setup. Well, technically it is not really a setup because it is not really using multi-monitors, but you have a big ultra-wide as your monitor. So the first setup where you have your main monitor and also two side monitors, that setup usually is very beneficial for people who do a lot of multitasking work, such as streaming, and also maybe just referring to documents on one other panel and also maybe doing something else on the other panel. Take an example of a streamer. You can actually play your game on your main monitor. You can have your stream running on your second monitor and you can monitor whether your stream is running fine and all of that. And you can actually observe chat or maybe have a document here where you can actually refer to, let's say if you have sponsors, or if you have things that you want to say on stream, you can actually put out a document on your third monitor and you can read stuff off it. And you can also monitor different things with your computer as well, like temperatures and stuff like that. And if you are someone who uses your computer for work as well, you can actually have like a document open here and you can just refer to it while you are working on your main screen. So in this scenario, it is really up to you whether you are going to utilize the second or the third monitor. I would say sometimes even a third monitor is overkill. For me, I need it because I also stream online and I also do a lot of work with my computer so I need a lot of screens to like multitask and see a lot of different documents at the same time. But most people will definitely only need a second monitor so don't go out and waste your money to buy another third monitor if you don't really need it. Now the second multi-monitor setup is more of a want than a need. So like I said earlier, you can have three of the same panels all side by side and what this setup does is that when you play games, it actually emulates the feeling of an ultra wide and you can actually feel much more immersive in game. Obviously, you can also use that multi-monitor setup for multitasking like the first setup, but that is really up to you because to me, I can just turn my monitor vertically like this and it actually gives me more real estate to look at. Instead of just looking left and right, I actually just need to go up and down and it doesn't make me feel like I need to put in the effort to turn my head even more to see things that are on my screen. But yeah, the second setup is mostly for gaming, but one big caveat about that setup is that you see the monitors here at the side, there are bezels. And if you put three monitors side by side, obviously if you play a game and you project the game all onto all three monitor screens, you will definitely see a bezel blocking your view for some certain pixels and it can get quite irritating. And then that segues into the third kind of setup. Like I said earlier, it's not really a setup, but you have a big ultra wide screen as your main monitor. Now, what ultra wide monitors are is that it is a monitor that is elongated. So pretty much it has the feeling of having two monitors pieced together most of the time. So for example, let's say you take this monitor, if you have an ultra wide version of this, it will probably span along like all the way until this large, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but yeah, ultra wides usually emulate like either two or three panels combined together. Ultra wides also come in many sizes, so there are the 30 inches, the 34 inches, and also I think Samsung has a 49 inch version. Now, if you are using the ultra wides for gaming, you got to make sure that your game actually supports ultra wide resolution. Some games actually support it. So if you play the game on this kind of monitor, you will probably see maybe you are playing Dota or something like that. You can see your character in this kind of pixel. And if you use an ultra wide that supports it, the pixel will stay the same, but you can see so many other things at the side of it as well. But sometimes when the game doesn't support it, it does two things. The first thing it does is that it elongates the picture and you know, like on a normal screen, you have your character like this and because the ultra wide elongates it, it pretty much just stretches out into like a big blurry mess of stuff. 
and obviously you will lose some proportion to the image and sometimes it doesn't really look good. The second thing that the monitor might do is that even if you have a big ultra wide, when you play the game, it will obviously default to the normal screen size and you will have like black bars at the side of the screen. Some people are okay with that. Let's say if you just play games on the side just to relax and stuff, if you will use your computer to work and all that mainly, that is fine. Some people live with it because there are also other benefits to having an ultra wide. The benefits for having an ultra wide, obviously you can have more real estate than a normal monitor. So something like a 34 inch ultra wide monitor actually emulates the fact that you have two 27 inch monitors side by side. So instead of having like three monitors, you can actually have a one big giant monitor to do your work and also multitask and maybe put on other stuff at the side there if you need to refer and you can just do your work on this other side of the monitor. It works great whenever you talk about multi-monitor setups because there is so much space. You can just shuffle things around and you do not need to worry about having extra wires going around at the side here and all of that. So yeah, it is one big giant monitor and you have two wires, one for power and one for a display input and that's it. And unlike multi-monitors, you obviously have multiple wires coming out from each of the monitors. So it becomes slightly messier. So ultra wide is a very good option if you really want a clean setup. And there you have it. If you really want multiple monitors, make sure you know what you're going to do with those monitors because some people can actually just live with one monitor. If you're using your computer specifically for gaming, one monitor is more than enough most of the time. And if you're doing some work on your computer, you can definitely just separate your main monitor into different parts where you can actually have a document on the side and also your main program that is happening on maybe the right side. Let's say if you're editing a video, you can actually edit a video here while you have a document on whether you, there are subs and stuff like that and you can just insert it in. It is really up to you whether it is your personal preference or not. So hopefully this video has helped you. The topic is slightly a bit of a common sense kind of topic because it is really, most of the time it's really up to you whether you really need the extra monitors to work on. In our next video for YTech, we are actually going to attempt to build a PC and also share the knowledge with you. I know there are a lot of guides out there on how to build your PC, but hey, YTech is a tech channel and I guess we definitely need to do one of these videos sometime soon. So stay tuned for the next episode of YTech. Hopefully this one has helped you to figure out whether you need multiple monitors. And I will see you in the next video. Yeah.